welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I'm at my desk right now. I'm holding the camera. It gets kind of shaky and I started to recognize that. So I'm going to do my best uh, to kind of keep this, the camera like on tables and actually film for you guys um, on one of these updates. When I'm in the car, I can't really do that. But um, if you're new here, definitely hit that little subscription button down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, which I know you will, definitely give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, if you're watching this, it should be released on Monday. I don't really know yet. Depends if I get enough content for today. Um, but kind of update you guys. I don't really remember what I told you and what I haven't told you. But yesterday, I ended up picking up this iPhone 8 Plus, 64 gigabyte, totally paid off. AT&T Space Gray it came with the box, the phone, and the actual headphones. Um, bought it for 300. Ended up selling it on Mercari for 500. You guys know Mercari only takes a 10%. So. $50 off, so I am sold it for $450, it's coming into my bank account. Uh, I have to go ship this tomorrow because today's Sunday, I can't really ship that, but super nice guy, college kid, bought it. Um, and I'm actually having a lot of people actually recognize me on Mercari. So if you ever see my listing out there, definitely shoot me a message, say hello. Um, I love to see you guys on that platform. I literally had somebody today um, say like like they, they were a big fan. So I definitely appreciate you if you were watching this video. Um, it's great talking to you. And if that's another way, if you guys always want to reach out to me, don't feel like don't be afraid or anything like that. I'm always here to answer your questions, um, whether it's in Mercari messages on Instagram DM. Facebook private message or even through comments on YouTube. I'm always here to help you guys. But again, that's a $150 profit, so I ended up selling that um, within a, literally a day. And then a couple days ago, um, I still haven't sold them, which is totally understandable. I usually hold on to Samsung or like Samsung phones a little bit longer, um, usually about a week. But I ended up buying these two S9s, brand new Sprint, obviously financed. Um, they they were not paid off and like literally never even taken out of the box. So pretty like they're brand new, so they sh they are a little bit easier to sell. Um, it sucks they're not the S9 Pluses because those are even easier to sell. Which S9s are kind of like a middle ground. Like a lot of people would rather have the 7 Plus rather than the 7 because it's not too much more extensive and you get the bigger screen. But whatever, uh, phones are phones, and so I bought them for two hundred and twenty dollars each, um, hoping to sell like get a approximately 80 to $100 profit on each of them, listing on Mercari. In this kind of case, I wish I had my eBay to be able to sell these because they probably would sell a little bit faster, but I'm still working on that, trying to get that eBay account back. It's just trial and error, keep calling them back, keep calling them back and try to find somebody um, that is willing to work with me and understands my situation. That's the best piece of advice that I've heard. I have a couple, a bunch of phones on me. I ended up selling an S9 Plus today as well. I've been hold, held on to that for literally three weeks or something, but bought it for 380, sold for 500 in cash. Went through the unlock portal that literally through AT&T it was. Literally got the like the confirmation code within probably two, three minutes. Um, and like it was literally all good from there. So ended up selling the phone. The guy wanted to use it for Verizon. Ended up working, so um, that was a nice $120 profit came in, kind of out of nowhere. Um, it's kind of nice when you hold on to a phone for a little bit and then you forget it and somebody just messages you and you sell it. It's kind of like you never even invested in that cash. It's like a weird mentality thing, but um, glad to always be moving inventory. And then I do have to ship this Apple Watch tomorrow as well. I sold it on Mercari. Uh, I literally only sold it for 20, 20 or 30 bucks. I bought it for five. Um, and so like nice little $15 profit profits profit you guys know like I do those kind of profits like it literally took me about five minutes to do that deal so wasn't can't complain about that getting some profit on there sorry I'm kind of ranting a little bit just because I've missed a couple of days updating you guys because I do want to vlog a little bit more and now finally right now I'm actually one thing I'm gonna be adding to my course uh, which a lot of people have requested is actually like an eBay price sheet so I can't do a price sheet for like buying and reselling locally because it really depends on if you're on West Coast uh, Midwest or like East Coast because prices do differentiate a lot and you guys know that but for now, one thing I kind of realized is that if I'm like eBay prices, in a sense, kind of stay the same for a little bit, but obviously I'm going to be doing it like a Google Doc, like a Google Sheets uh, uh, actual spreadsheet where I can continuously update it. So, course members um, are going to be having access to that this week. Hopefully, I'm going to 
finish that today. I'm going to be like that's what I'm going to be doing after I film this part of the video. But just kind of a, uh, a like a price sheet of like what they would go for if they're cracked, bad ESN, um, iCloud locked, like cr uh, backed cracked, like from cracked. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be making it as in depth as possible um, and a little and make it look good for you guys, especially if you are in the course. If you are interested in hopping in the course, it is the first link down below. Got to plug that, but that's the only time today. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next clip when I really have another thing to talk about. All right guys, so um, it's been about an hour now and I've been basically kind of formatting the price sheet. Um, again, this is gonna be a phone flipping eBay price sheet. So this is gonna be one thing um, I'm really gonna kind of push for people to get in my course for. So if you're interested, this will be a lot of help to you. Um, this is gonna be only for course members only. and It's, it's gonna take me uh, many hours to do just because I have to look up every single price per the phone, per the gigabyte, and then I'm gonna be separating them into the four major carriers as well as seal sealed used crack screen and bad ESN and on some of these um, newer ones they have the the back glass too so I'm gonna be including those on like the ones with the back glass like the A plus um, 8 and X so these are basically gonna be the prices that you guys should be paying to make a minimum a hundred dollars um, on eBay so these prices are so let's say this one iPhone X 64 gigabyte Verizon sealed so if you want to make a hundred dollars on eBay including the fees and everything you should be paying max six hundred and forty dollars based on my research uh, for Verizon sealed iPhone X 64 gigabyte and so anything you pay below that obviously is going to be a hundred dollars uh, more than the hundred dollar profit so it's basically just any extra profit but maximum to be able to make a hundred dollars you should be making six hundred forty dollars so you guys can kind of see what I'm exactly doing here I think this is gonna be a really valuable piece of information that not a lot of people in the industry do have and I think it'll be unique to me I'm spending a lot of time with it I'm gonna make it very like aesthetically pleasing you guys can see like I have the different carriers and stuff like that um, as you guys like this is an hour's work so like there's a lot more to go especially with these sevens having like the three different gigabytes so I want to be as accurate accurate as possible for you guys so um, again if you are interested in that that's going to be in the course up this week um, and if you're in the course definitely look get excited for this uh, piece of information hey what is up guys so it is actually the next day it's actually Monday um, August 20th it's about 2:40 right now today's been a pretty productive day oh, it's going to be a productive day. I honestly haven't done too much, but early this morning, um, I ended up buying a seven plus. It was, it was, she said it was an eight plus. I offered a hundred. It was locked, uh, and I was going to make two fifty on it, but it ended up being a seven plus. She had no reviews, so I figured something wrong would be would be wrong with it, and so I just offered forty bucks in person. Ended up taking it, so I should. I already messaged my private buyer, requested the money, so he bought it for $130. So this is a quick $90 minus the $7 shipping. So about $80 profit on that phone, which is pretty good. I, like, I can't complain with $80 profit for literally 15 minutes of work this morning. I literally just woke up, put a couple of bids on an offer up. That's one thing I like to do in the morning. Uh, just kind of a little bit of a satisfaction thing. And so um, bought that phone, already shipped it today. So like literally within the same day, I've usually sell to my private buyer if it's early enough in the day and I shipped those two other phones well one was an Apple watch and one was a phone I sold on Mercari so those are all done um, got everything shipped out and now obviously I'm ready to go buy some more phones but um, one thing that I'm going to be doing obviously is 245 right now and at 3 o'clock I actually have a phone call um, I actually don't know what it's gonna be about but I actually applied for um, Phoenix's like the Central Phoenix uh, Chamber of Commerce. Apparently you have to apply um, and they have to interview and everything like that. I think, I don't know if it's an interview or they're just a question of what you do, uh, but it's basically for business owners and I really, um, my mom actually gave me the idea, but uh, I just, you guys know I phone flip and a lot of the times like, yeah, I, I talk to a lot of, I talk to like probably 50 to 100 people every single day answering their messages, but at the same time, I don't really get out. The only people I meet uh, on an average day are just basically either my friends like once a week maybe that I already know or the people I meet phone flipping and that it really isn't too exciting. So I don't really get to go out much so I wanted to find something where I can contribute to something like kind of network and the Chamber of Commerce uh, was kind of the perfect thing for me. I had to apply a couple days ago. I ended up doing that and so the guy emailed me and now I'm having a phone call at three He's supposed to be calling me. Again, I don't really know what he's gonna be talking about, but they have like networking events every single month. So if you guys are interested in doing that, I know they have one pretty much for every single town. Um, no matter the state, they probably have one. So it's just a basically, I think it's just business owners, small and large business owners that come to, they have like networking lunches, like 
sometimes they're free, sometimes you have to pay for them, but imagine like the connections that you can get. So like for me, I like obviously have a couple different businesses. So I want to potentially meet people that I can possibly work with. Maybe we come up with new ideas. It doesn't really matter the age too. Some of these people obviously like like the older generation, more like the 60 plus, and then there's hopefully there's some people around my age, like that 18 to 20, 30 range um, that I'm literally looking to connect with. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, for the rest of the day, I'm still updating my, my eBay sheet. Uh, it's just taking a while and then uh, I'm going to be putting hopefully at least one video up today in the course as well. I'm going to be filming that and that's going to be the bad ESN strategy video. So if you guys are wondering what that is, um, it's kind of like my strategy for never getting scammed in the phone flipping industry. That is a big video that I'm really spending, I want to spend a lot of time on. Um, so I'm writing a lot of notes for that to, to go ahead and just kind of walk you guys through it in the course. Um, because I know it'll save a lot of you a lot of hassle with scams and everything like that. Um, and just pretty much just have all profit, all green, none of that negative red crap or anything like that. So um, with that said, I'll catch you guys later. I'll tell you guys how the call went right after I get off of it. Um, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Well, I just got off the phone with the guy. I was on there for like 15 minutes. It's basically a sales pitch. They try to make you pay $500 for the entire year membership. It's a total scam. I don't know if it's a scam, but like, I just wanted to meet some new people, network, just kind of connect. But I mean, I could create the same damn thing and just do it free and just make people go to a, a bar one night, once a month. Like it was so dumb. So I don't know. Like it was, I thought it would, I was a lot more excited than just for him to pitch me something. But whatever. I, I wouldn't have known if I did. And you can go to these events. I think it's like. They'll charge you like 20 to 50 bucks if you want to go. So if I feel like it, I'll just pay the 20, 30 bucks and go to a, an event sometime. But 500 bucks just to get my name on a website that nobody's going to look at. So I'm not going to go through with it. I told you guys I'd update you, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so it is now 8.30 at night. I'm just wrapping up the video today and just kind of update you guys. So I ended up picking up another 7 Plus. Um, this one I ended up, again, it was locked. I had originally gone into it about, she had listed it for 180 and I went in there, I was gonna buy it for 160 I got her down to. Um, and obviously you guys can tell, like that's super good profit. And um, I got there and like the phone looked like it was reset. And then, uh, um, like, but I, I told her like she couldn't find the passcode for it. It had like the six digit like number passcode on it. But it looked like, like it had already been reset or something like that. So I figured this is a possibility that it could be one of those phones where it has the passcode but no iCloud on it. What ended up happening, I bought it for 60 bucks and it did end up being locked. What happened was apparently it was reported um, lost or whatever. And the original owner had wiped it clean. And I honestly had never seen that before, but apparently um, it just, at, like when I tried to reset it, just asked me if the iCloud was um, like it wanted me to put in the original Apple ID and the original password, which obviously, uh, obviously I don't have, but um, I just bought it at the passcode locked kind of price anyway. So bought it for 60, literally already got the money to my actual, um, what's it called, PayPal. And so I have $260 I received for him from him today um, and ended up buying that for a total of 110. So 100 and no, it was a hundred dollars because I paid 60 and 40, so 100, to, so I had a minute, oh, I'm really, I can't even speak. So overall today I ended up making $160 and that's that's really good considering the fact that like I literally am already getting the money into my pay, into my bank account. Already transferred those $260 from PayPal into my bank account. So I'll be shipping out that phone tomorrow, this one right here, um, to my private buyer because I already shipped out the one already today because I like to have that quick turnaround time. Um, just really keeps my buyer happy with me. And then obviously the Mercari ones are on the way. And then one thing I forgot to mention, I don't think I mentioned it um, in the video, but I was at Walmart the other day and you guys know I've been actually just writing my labels, but that's getting um, pretty expensive. So I'm trying to cut down on the shipping fees. So I ended up picking up this Canon Pixma, um, like it does print copy scan. I ended up picking up this and you guys wouldn't believe um, I ended up picking up for $19 at Walmart. Literally I looked at eBay and I could flip this for 40 bucks. Um, but obviously like I'm, I'm trying to use it and it has already inking, inking it and everything like it scans it, copies, prints, um, really nice slick kind of look as you guys can see. 
Um, you guys, like, I, I put it on my Instagram, so if you guys aren't following the Instagram, it's at Kishisrani, K-I-S-H-I-S-R-A-N-I. It should be one of the, probably the last link down below. Um, it's just kind of update you guys, kind of my day-to-day -day operations, as these vlogs do, but um, kind of a little bit different content, showing you guys my, like, almost every phone deal that I do. Um, so I ended up picking up this up for $19 at Walmart, literally the cheapest printer I've ever seen. As I said, it does come with these, uh, and it also came with, with these ink cartridges, which is honestly, when I go and buy them, they'll probably be more than that, but uh, if you guys are, like, don't have a printer, it's definitely, like, something that will save you a lot of money, especially if you're printing these labels on eBay or Mercari, um, and having the buyer actually pay for the shipping, as long as you, um, like, go get, like, the, the, like, bubble wrappers or bubble... Um, envelopes at Staples. I ended up buying one today just because I needed it for a one-time use. It was literally a dollar. So if you have them pay for it and you just need the, um, you just need to print out the label here and you're just paying for the ink over a long term. So each one might be a couple cents here and there. Everything you print and then um, the actual just mailer, which is a dollar. So I ended up paying a dollar for the shipping. So I am super excited about that. And so for today, I don't really have too much more, but I obviously I wanted to release a video for you guys. Keep you guys up to date on, on kind of my day-to-day -day operations. This week, I'm going to be releasing what my new business is. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know which video will be this week. I'll probably do two, to three, two or three more videos um, for the remaining days in this week. So definitely get excited about that. If you haven't liked today's video yet, definitely give it a thumbs up. Sorry, I'm just like leaning on my, on my printer. But if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, definitely hit that little subscription button down below. I'd really appreciate the support, guys. Uh, if you made it to this far in the video, you guys mean the world to me. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.